Hi there. Yo, back off the face, back on the ridge. I guess the view is better from here. It is quite gorgeous. Oh, the snow is amazing. Yeah, this is where <laughs> we should be skiing. If we were normal people, yeah, we would uh, we would definitely aim for this side. Definitely. <laughs> wow. Might be some of the best snow all year. Yeah. The clouds are doing exactly what the forecast was saying. Just keeping the temperatures down. Yeah, it's quite midday. nice. And then somewhere around three, it's supposed to go sunny again. Hey oh, hi there. How's it going? No crampons, no worries. No worries, man. Get back up here in the nice snow. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's any point in looking at anything further down than... No, if that moves, <laughs> I mean, we're taking out the whole village down there. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring a saw with you? I have no saw. I usually just use my pole. Like I'll make it really wide the column and use my pole on the back. Yeah. Let's see if anything moves that way. I was uh, on a trip with a couple of mountain guys uh, a couple of weeks ago. And they they both had saws. Yeah. It looked so cool. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah. It's just one more thing to. Yeah. Do you want to do a side column tap on this one or do you want to dig out the full? Dig out the whole thing? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so there we have the freshly deposited powder sitting nicely on top of the old rain crust. And the question is, is this going to come off in one clean slide or are we going to see some crumbling? Crumbling is what we want to see. <laughs> I mean, this down to here is not going to do anything. I don't think. And there is a little bit, but it's going to crumble. Fourth from the elbow. Is it? Yeah. It does I mean, go off of this layer here. That's the crust. That's like a no. That's like a solidified snow layer on top of the actual crust, which is down here. Yeah. But like, yeah, it doesn't really go clean. Yeah. And also, like, this is the snow that came yesterday. Yeah. So it's gonna slough at the most. Yeah. But I don't think we're gonna trigger anything. Serious, to be honest. No. Or at least we'll have to dig one more on the top of the face, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna do another pit at the top of the face, which probably is gonna slide if we do it where that where the where those obvious crowns are, like if we do it above the crown. But like you said, when that stuff slid spontaneously, probably two nights ago, it would have pulled anything unstable with it. Yeah, I don't really, I'm really not too worried about this. Typical free ride behavior, just like ski fast, be in front of your slough. Yeah. Be mindful of any propagation. I mean, if you just ski in front of your avalanches and ski fast enough. That's what I've heard. Yeah.
So this just happened. Remotely triggered right next to where we just dug a pit, right beneath us. <laughs> Which is kind of sketchy. I don't think I've had that kind of whoomp sound beneath me in this face this big before. Yeah. There's really not much to say about it. I mean, I wish we got it on film. Yeah. I walked from the main face where it was pretty thin and really consolidated. And then I got out on this uh, shoulder here, which is somewhat convex. And I think the north wind has been backloading this part right here. And uh, yeah, it was enough weight to uh, remote trigger it. Um, not a huge slide, but still enough to be like, a bad idea if you're on the face, which has exposure towards the end. So yeah. We're going to have to do uh, some deep thinking about what we do. I think today is going to be a cruising day after this. Might be pretty cruisy, yeah. Never say never, though. we got to go check it out. Yeah. Go check out the facilities over here. How's it looking? There are rumors about our crazy Pilar. I'm seeing from Gretel's team. Oh, that one is bad. Yeah. And uh, what's it like going to uh, the original plan? Is that like a no-go, hey? Yeah. Wow, okay. So that just doesn't even... That plan didn't even work. I think maybe the best idea is just ski down here. Get a cruisy run, yeah. and then do another cruisy run over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm down for that. At least if we would want to get to the uh, to the other Polaris, if yeah, we, it's a long way. It just doesn't feel like the day to do to any heavier stuff. Yeah. Ah, no. But we gotta top out. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way to get actually to get on onto our plan uh, B or whatever it is at this point. So we were too ambitious? I think so, yeah. It's like a big drop here. Like, it's pretty huge. Huh. There's maybe a way you could billy goat down this ramp and then, but then you can go over. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, like when you say that, I feel like I've done this a hundred times. And so I just assume you can make your way down something yeah, this, and then it's just so, so alpine. <laughs> we should have flown a drone actually and had a look. Yeah. That's so Trig, yeah. what's the sitch here? The situation is we assumed we could down, down climb onto the ridge that we were going to ski from, which we couldn't, which you should never assume in Sudmara because the mountains are way too alpine here. And also it kind of sketched out on the avalanche situation. So I think we're just going to do a mellow cruisy run down here. Which might slide a little bit, but uh, it's very non-exposed and very chill. So you can just straight straight line out of anything sketchy that happens. Don't do this at home, kids. And then possibly after that, go and ski that next phase and just have a cruisy day. Cruisy day it is. Yeah. No big lines today. Fuck. Yes. While we're waiting for the sun, Jakob is doing an exclusive mountaintop techno concert for us. <laughs> oh my ah, god. No. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? 
Holy shit! It was so good! So it's perfect! Perfect! I don't think it could have been any better. No, no way. Like anything different in the snow and it would have been worse. <laughs> Round number two? Yeah. Why wouldn't a guy? Last run of the day, Trig is doing very well. It is gorgeous. <laughs> oh. Arr, arr, arr. God damn. Well, shit, bro. Light turned kind of flat. Light turned shit. I didn't really see the landing much. Well, but. Looks I guess like I got a semi-cool crash. You had some creamy turns. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Absurd. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, loud. <laughs> <laughs>